Hey, slow family. So, I'm like exactly an hour into making this balsamic reduction and it's slowly like just starting to show signs of changing in consistency, thinking we have about another hour to go. And um, so I'm not going to do the coffee enema yet. I'll do that after. That will be like a 3 a.m. thing. <laughs> but since we had time, I thought about it. I'm like, I haven't read cards in a hot minute. And I have some time to spare, so let's read some cards. Um, the deck I've had since I was 19 years old, I'm feeling really drawn to right now, which is the Fairy Oracle. I love the fairies. I love the fairies. So why don't we see my ice machine getting all ready for the balsamic ice bath? Anyway. Okay, so we're going to pull from the fairy oracle. And I'm missing the fairies. Like I said, I've been I'm 44. I've been working with this exact deck since I was 19. So, I have a strong connection to the fairy realm and I kind of feel like they're like, "Hey, you're neglecting me." So, let's tap in to the beautiful fairies. Just getting my energy going. Yeah. Do a little shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. I can already feel myself connecting to them. Yeah. The fairy realm is a very interesting realm to work with. Because <laughs> there's the trickster fairies, and it's just a lot of different fairies. Um. Shuffle it up a little more. Get my energy flowing through it. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. felt it. Okay. This one is ecstasy. But it's spelled E K S T A S I S. And that's card two. Almost there. What advice is there for me today? Okay. And that was reversed. Let's see. So this is a collective reading. Because um, typically when I read, the... If the card is facing me, like let's say it's reversed to me, then it's upright to the person I'm reading. You get it? So if I was reading myself, if it was reversed to me, it would be actually the upright meaning in my life. So what we're going to do is we're going to read both meanings. And I get to look like Kermit the Frog because I need the glasses. Oh, but they, I mean, they look so nerdy. Um, <laughs> but they feel so much better, let me tell you. Okay. So the keywords here, can I do this without that? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, the key words here are ecstasy, joy, rapture, and motivation. Ecstasy is the song, the energy, and power that fills unity. 
There is nothing else but that song. No voice to sing, no ears to hear, just the infinite and eternal song. The energy of which completely fills eternity and infinity. This rhapsodic song of bliss is what powers the cosmos and what gives it order and harmony. It is the song that holds the atoms together, the stars in their places, the galaxy in theirs. It keeps our hearts beating, and it is the love and trust that flows through them. In unity, there is nothing but the song. The outpouring of undifferentiated energy, the power felt in a mystical experience. The void, void, so often spoken of in spiritual literature is not empty, but full, so full that there is no space between one singing and the next. There is nowhere to stand outside of unity and look at it, marveling. At the level of this world's reality, and fairies as well, we have the sensory illusion that you and I are separate. That we are not directly connected. That what happens when a finger is lifted on a small planet circling the furthest star in the most distant galaxy does not affect us, which of course it does. We need this illusion because at this stage of our evolution, we are not ready to be aware of the full song in more than very short bursts, if even that. The singers are capable of this, but we are not. At least we are not yet able to do this, it may take a while for us to get there, but that is where we are headed. Knowingly or unknowingly. Our ears are too small to hear this song. Only our souls are big enough. The song rings through everything. The wind in the trees, the radiance of distant stars, the beat of a mouse's heart, the rumble of a digestive system, the quiet gurgle of a planet's capillaries, the deep unheard hum of Earth. Scientists have recently discovered a hit heard of, unheard part of Earth's song, which is very deep and very slow. Some of them think it may be caused by changing atmospheric pressure, like a gentle slow padding on a drum. Of course, changes in the atmosphere come primarily from changes in the solar wind and radiation. So, in essence, we see the Earth Mother is being gently padded, caressed by Father Son. And she purrs and hums in response, as do we, her children. Everything is linked. Everything is a part of the one song, the e ecstasies, ecstasies, E-K-S-T-A-S-I-S. -S. So upright reading, which will apply to some of the collective and the reverse will apply to the others. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Start a reading. Ecstasy is something people seek. It feels better than good. It feels, well, ecstatic. We experience it in tiny bursts and in bigger surges. It enables us to recognize the sacred nature of our own being as an experienced fact, not merely a theory or article of faith. Ecstasy is not something we can make within ourselves, but something that flows through us when we open ourselves to it is energy. It fills us with power and with the motivation to grow, to become what we have the 
to become what we have the positive potential of being and to fulfill our purpose in being here and now on this planet. When we are feeling these surges of joy, we are empowered and we know that we are on an appropriate track for us, the track that leads to greater meanings and fulfillment in our lives. This card in a reading says, among other things, go for it. It confirms that we are on course, moving in a good direction, and that we are in harmony with the great song. It says great joy and great accomplishments are within your reach. Its song also lights up and empowers the cards around it, healing the past, intensifying the moment, enlightening the future. Reverse reading, which will apply to some of the collective. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Reversed. You may be feeling sor sorrowful or grieving. Remember that these feelings, too, are a part of the great song. They are a part of love. Don't try to block them. Don't try to deny them. Let them flow. If your song is mournful, sing it that way. Let the energy move. Let it run freely until it changes. It is important to let ourselves feel what we feel. Without denial or blocking, so that we process those feelings naturally until they transform within us. That's called transmuting energy, basically, yeah. Only by finding creative expression for each or such feelings may we complete their process and move beyond them. If life is not going as you wish, live it. Live it. Just live it out. Live out the experience and... Find the silver lining. If there's anything that you can control, is finding the silver lining in every situation. Acknowledge it. Express it creatively and appropriately. Go through it and beyond it. Find the creative balance between wallowing in emotions and denying them. Accept, process, release. Or acknowledge, process, release, accept. <laughs> we can accept and gradually transform our feelings. Transform, transmute. Same shit, different pile. There is a saying, this too shall pass. It is true about everything. All of our joys and all of our sorrows. Live it and let it pass so that tomorrow can bring you new life. All the deeper and richer for what you have passed through. Card two, ecstasy. All right, so I am smelling the balsamic. So we're going to stop this video. I'm going to go give it a stir. And then we're going to pull from... Mm, the next video, we're going to do the dark crystal deck. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the man that, I think the man that did the fairy oracle was also part of creating the dark crystal, if I can recall correctly. I love you. I'll be back sooner than you think. Mwah. All right, I gotta go stir my balsamic. Bye.